Okay, in this video we're going to learn how to set up and activate motion detection for your cameras using the DMSS mobile app. Let's start opening up the cameras on our Media VR test um, device. Click on play. Let's wait until cameras are load up with the screen. I'm going to select camera, let's go with camera number one. And then we're gonna click on this little icon here on the upper right corner in the format like a settings, I represent settings. And then we're gonna come to remote configuration. Then we're gonna select, we're gonna click here to expand the video option and then select motion detection and then we're gonna enable the advanced configuration and then we're gonna click first on read there are a lot of other options that we can you know change but I am going to I, I will leave everything as the default option except for the region setting okay uh, but for this, since I'm using an Android emulator, I'm gonna pause the video because once I click on this option, the screen will kind of switch over to landscape mode. So let me pause the video and come back on the landscape format. Okay, now that I clicked on the region setting, uh, I am on the landscape mode and as you can see it's a lot bigger screen, at least here on my uh, emulator okay on your regular phone you might see the same thing but it's like in a horizontal mode so this is the area that is pre, pre um, enabled by default which is pretty much a hundred percent of the area covered by the camera okay down here we have quite a few options the first one is for you to draw you know the area that might be uh, set you know to trigger the sensor Again, we are I actually have a hundred percent of that area being covered. If you want to remove some part of it, what you gotta do is come down here, click on this little eraser icon, and then you're gonna do pretty much the same thing. You just go into draw, you know, drag the mouse, select and drag it over until you know to through the desired uh, squares. You see, you can go one by one. Or you can simply drag, you know, and then and, and select the area that will be kind of your exclusion area. So <clears throat> right now I am going to, let's say this is a high traffic area. And of course, you know, doesn't matter what I do, you know, there will always be activity here. I wouldn't recommend you doing this thing or maybe not even, you know, activating this feature for high traffic areas. So, but let me go back here and leave everything as is, at least for this camera. When is this recommended? When you have, let's say, very restricted areas, rooms, you know, let's say you have like a, I don't know, a very restricted room and you have a camera inside that room and if someone walks by, you know, or comes in that room, uh, the camera will be notified right away or let's say you have a camera inside like a common area and you have you can draw let's say part of that area if someone crosses that intrusion zone you know that's gonna trigger the sensor and then the camera will record that very moment same thing applies for uh, notification you can be notified uh, whenever you know someone crosses or an object enters that enters that zone okay we're gonna be talking about notifications later on but for this video if you want to remove some of the areas that will be triggering the sensor all you gotta do is come here and go through the area that must be removed now uh, if I click Save you know that will be applied which I'm not gonna be doing because I need everything here to be you know uh, covered but if you hit save only uh, object that comes within you know this area will trigger the sensor right now this vehicle just did 
and then I'm gonna be notified or you know the camera will record that very moment but anything from this point this area up won't uh, trigger the sensor okay again I'm going to set everything leave pretty much all areas and then I'm gonna hit save and now I'm going back to the portrait mode and now I'm back to my motion detection screen as I mentioned previously we have a few other options that will not be part of this basic you know uh, tutorial but you know pretty much that's all what it is we have here sensitivity which you can increase or decrease based based on you know your need let's say an area with high traffic or thing that requires more sensibility of the sensor and theater so you can increase or decrease this as well but like I said we're not gonna be talking about this at this moment and here you have you can see the channel or camera that we have selected for these settings to be applied okay this is uh, these settings they are applied individually for each camera that you have like we did all this for this camera number one so we can do the same for each of the other cameras all we gotta do is just go back to the camera I know it's like a pretty long process but this is a thing you're gonna be doing just once you know and I can go ahead select camera 2 and go through the same process over again select camera go to settings remote configuration video detection motion detection advanced configuration and region setting as you can see now we have channel 2 selected okay and that applies to all other cameras and whatever settings that whatever change we make here will be applied to the recorder so same thing will uh, appear for all other devices that are using this camera okay not only the, the mobile app the MSS this is gonna be sent this kind of settings will be sent over to the recorder wherever you have it in your home office or anywhere you have the record so basically these settings will be saved on the recorder and apply to all devices that are accessing that camera and uh, let me see if I am forgetting anything no okay we have the settings we have the region it is saved let me save this and on the next video I am going to show how to enable notifications settings okay for your DMSS